Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Evelyn. So today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you guys this look and mainly using the Kai Deluxe. This brand is a Taiwan brand that is created by a makeup artist. And recently I went to his exhibition and went to like his kind of like his class and um and actually bought some of his product like his eyebrow cara, his um brow palette, his cushion foundation. And yeah, I'm create I'm just gonna create a look um using all of his product that I bought during exhibition. I hope you guys enjoy my video. Let's go get started on this look. And I already primed my face with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Moisturizing Primer. And let's jump right into their cushion. Number 21 is the lighter shade. And inside of it, looks like this. I already use it for like once or twice so I can't really it's like a little bit used but it's like a squirrely kind of found it cream foundation is that a cushion and I'm just gonna try this on my face <laughs> so cute you can have like the whole scroll It looks really really white on the camera, but I swear it looks okay. It looks okay in real life, like my neck patch. But it looks, I don't know why it looks so pale on camera. What? Totally because of the lighting. Mm. And that is the finish of this. Um, it feels pretty hydrating. It claims to be one of like a really hydrating foundation and yeah, I'm gonna see how it works later. I look so pale, but I swear it's not because of the diff like this, this is the right shade. This is definitely the right shade I have. It's so weird. Okay, now I'm gonna conceal real fast. Okay, and then now I'm gonna use another product of from Kai Deluxe is their um, Perfecting Loose Powder. It's just kind of like a setting powder. Let's put it in a really cute like that. And the inside looks like this. You just use it like that. And this puff, they absorb. Do you see the? Do you see the smoke? Oh my god! They this puff absorbs product so well. It kind of absorbs product too well. There's too many products that can be in the puff. So I have to be careful for it. Do you, do you see? Do you see this? Oh my god! Let me try to like get rid of some. Just lightly pat over your face like that. And this powder claims to um, not make you oily for the whole day. I don't know about that, but I'll try it next time and see what it stays matte for the whole day. Oh, I look so pale. <laughs> it's okay. I'll make it work. And now after powdering, I'm gonna go with brow product. This is actually my first ever... Um, eyebrow powder like a powder pressed powder palette i've been using brow um brow pencil for basically my whole life and this is my first ever brow pressing brow powder oh wait okay so um <clears throat> My camera just died, so I went back to charge it for like a 10 minutes and I'm back with talking about brow I think. Yeah, and this one is the pressed powder 
that I got is in the shade number one coffee. It's just like a three shades powder that's for your brow. I'm just gonna probably do it behind, like behind the camera, and I'll be right back and talk about how I think about this product. And uh, I'm back. Uh, the front looks a little different, but you know what? Eyebrows are their sister today. They're not twins. They're sisters. And uh, they have a. I got a eyebrow brow cara thing but I don't think I'm gonna use it today since I already have like pretty dark color eyebrows on so I'll probably try this next time and so move on to eye um, I don't think they have oh, oh I think they have eyeshadow palette but I didn't buy it because um, I have similar palette that looks like the palette that they have so I'm just gonna do like a really easy really easy brown shade eyeshadow using the L'Oreal palette this is so used up it's called color rich so I'm gonna start with this lightest shade to kind of just set my eyeshadow primer I already have primer on and I'm just gonna use a really light color to set the the shadow whatever to set the primer and now I'm gonna use a brown shade. Probably gonna mix this too. And just put it all over my crease. And basically pull over my eyelid. And now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, more dense brush, and take this color. This and this color, actually. I'm gonna mix this too and just put it on the bottom, the outer corner of my eyes. Just darken it a little. And then finally, I'm gonna use my finger and take this really bright, um, goldy gold color and just focus that color on my inner corner Pat the color in and then use the axis dark color on this denser brush and just go over my lower I'm gonna go off camera to do my inner eyeliner I don't, I don't usually do outer eyeliner because I'm not good at it so I'll be right back okay I'm back I just finished doing my inner eyeliner and my mascara now I'm gonna move on to bronzer I'm gonna use this to bronze on my whole face it's a little bit little little bit <laughs> and just get a fluffy blush <laughs> the inside, the first that they give just fly out. It's okay, I'll go pick it up later. Okay, now that I'm done with um, shading, I'm gonna put on some blush and highlighter with this palette. This is so beautiful. This is the um, Lorac collaboration with. Parts of the Caribbean. It is the Dead Men Tell No Lies video, the collab. And I'm gonna use the combination of this two shade for my blush, and probably this use one, this one for my highlight. And now I'm gonna highlight with the shade I just talked about. Okay, and then. That is my face, and then now we're gonna go into lips, which is I'm most excited about because I actually bought two lip shades. One is this is one of their um, top selling items. It's called number sixty nine six, mm -hmm -hmm. and uh, it's a really pretty um, bright red. Let me show you. 
like this really really like red red color like that super super red but I feel like if you don't if you don't apply too many layers or just apply lightly you can still achieve this really bright um, pink color and the second one is called cashmere it is a really warm kind of orangey shade it is a kind of like this is kind of like a lip gloss here it is cashmere and sex and i'm gonna try two different colors on my lip let's try it And this is what um, 69 looks like. It looks more red in real life because the lighting right now is not really right, so it looks like more like an orange shade. But it is, it is actually this color on my lips, but it just looks orange. Like that. And right now I'm gonna take this off and try cashmere. Now let's try cashmere. I really like this color. It looks, it looks like a um, what's called, perfect fall shade. I'm gonna apply this. So I just finished the cashmere lipstick. Okay, like it does, it doesn't dry down because my 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 camera died and then I charged it again. So it's around like 10 minutes and it still didn't dry down. So it's just gonna remain as like a gloss kind of but it does have really nice coverage it can cover all my lips in one swipe so this this color it look it's really fall and i really like the color and for 69 i do really like this color i don't think this is for like an everyday use but maybe if there's like some special party or something it'll be really nice but i just kind of wish the opening can be a little bit smaller because when I apply it, it's a little bit too big for my lips when, we're, when I'm going to the um, corner part. But other than that, it's great. And let's talk about all the makeup from Kai Deluxe. Um, cushion is really nice. It might look a little bit pale on camera, but it, it actually is a really nice match for my skin tone. Um, I don't think they will be a big range enough for everyone to use it because there's only two shades which is 21 and 23 that's like they need they probably need to work on that more but it's a really nice um foundation it does um it is really moisturizing i have kind of like really dry area for my um cheek area is really dry and it hasn't cracked or like do any weird stuff for my skin so yeah it's really nice it smells nice so i like it and for the powder, um, it is really nice. Right now, my skin is still looking pretty fresh and pretty matte. So I like it, but I don't know how well it can hold for the day. And I, I never tried it out before. Maybe in another video, I'll try out how well this powder can stay. And for eyebrows, I actually really like it a lot. So. Um, it's because they have three colors so I can kind of um, choose the color of my brows depends on like my hair color and stuff because I, I do dye my hair a lot about this brush it is nice but I feel like it's a bit too small so it's kind of hard to like control when you're doing a, a more detail part so I probably need to get a actual eyebrow brush but for this palette, uh, but for, yeah, for this eyebrow palette, I like it a lot. And yeah, that's all of the Kai Deluxe products that I bought. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like this video, please like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!